Hey, what's up guys? Guess what, Smash Crew? We're gonna be talking about, we're going straight tactical today. That's it. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about all kinds of other stuff. I mean, I could, it's easy, but we're going straight tactical. I'm gonna show you how to warm up your shoulders the right way. The buzzword of the day these days is mobility. I'm gonna put this down for a second just so I can rant for a second. You know how I go. You know how it works. So the buzzword is mobility, except you know what mobility is? Shit, it's nothing. Mobility doesn't mean anything because mobility is one facet of everything. Mobility, flexibility, right? Strength and stability. They are all incorporated together. That's one, means if you focus on mobility, you're just focusing on 25% and that's it. The rest of everything you do is gonna be based on what? A quarter of your ability? Yeah, that's straight horse shit. So anything that's focusing on just getting somebody super flexible, there's, there's so much more involved. So this is, like I said, this is one of these straight, super blunt videos. That's what this is gonna be. So I'm gonna show you the probably the greatest shoulder warm-up drill for anything that involves uh, anything from pretty much the belly button up. So that's really important because that's gonna take into account thoracic extension, scapular activation by way of the trapezius, the external rotation, the internal rotation, press, all, all the stuff, all the stuff. So you know what, why don't we just like, fuck, you guys have seen my spiel and my shtick already. Let's just get to work. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the shoulder, and by doing that, we're gonna use this, trust me. Yeah, maybe for a whooping on somebody. So, feeling feisty today. So what we do is we need to be able to open up that shoulder, and we're gonna do what's called, so we can do this without, without eating it. We're gonna do this with a, a kneeling shoulder opener. This is so easy to do, and all you need is a band. Not a rock and roll band. Well, that, that probably would help. So you're gonna take your elbow, you're gonna put the band in. So the band is cinched up head height, okay? Band is at head height, put it into the elbow. You're gonna reach back and grab the back. Make sure that band is in the elbow. You're gonna reach back and grab the back of your neck. I realize I'm kind of out of frame a little bit here. So I'm taking a knee. Let's, let's do it right now. Let's, there we go. All right, so the band, you can see, this stuff makes a great, sounds like a dirt bike. Listen, that stuff's cool. All right, so we're gonna reach back, grab the back of your neck. You wanna have the elbow, the electron, electron pointing straight up. You're gonna take a knee, and you're gonna let the band do the work, and you're gonna let it bring the shoulder all the way into that open position. This is basically your overhead position. It's gonna unload the pec, the lat, subscapularis, teres major, all kinds of stuff, and you're gonna camp out like this for how long? Two minutes, that's number one. All right, number two, boy, this one's a good one, but I need the foam roll that I'm using as a camera stand. So let's see if we can pull this off. Without having to, I'm gonna have the blackest knees on earth. So we have, and you guys have seen this before, this is how friggin' good it is. Repetition is the mother of skill, as long as you're repeating the right shh. All right, yeah, I'm on fire today. So we're gonna take this, push straight out. So I'm grabbing the barbell. The PVC pipe, or foam roller in this case, is basically mid-scapula. And then I'm gonna sink my butt. So my knees are bent, elbows are locked out, and I'm gripping about shoulder width apart, and I'm gonna push out as hard as I can, and I'm gonna stay like this for two minutes. Now, if this is too hard, raise your butt and lower it until you get to a point that you feel it as much as you can possibly stand it. Eventually, you'll be right here. When you're done, take the elbows, bring it in, bring them close together, because coming out of this, kind of uncomfortable. All right, that's number two. Oh, this stuff's fun, huh? This stuff's so fun. All right, clean off the knees. All right, number three, we're gonna do what's called a scat push-up. I can go in the same spot. So a scat push-up is gonna basically tell the brain how to activate the scapula and stabilize them the way they're supposed to, working that serratus anterior. So go on your elbows. It's just easier for now. And you're just gonna come out here just a little bit. And all your, it prevents you from cheating the movement. So you're just gonna squeeze the scapula together, flare them apart. Squeeze, flare, squeeze, flare. You're gonna do that three sets of 10. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna take another band. You see me over there? You sure as shit can, I love that. We're gonna take this, the band goes at shoulder height. You're gonna take a PVC pipe. In this case, it's a big giant PVC pipe. Let's move the camera so you have the right stuff. 
Let's see, I could go on about a movie. Or a band. I'm that old. 29 and holding, right? All right. I don't give a fuck about my age. I'm happy to be as old as I am. I think that's great. I'm in it for the long game. We got tons of shit to do. So what you're doing is you're loading the band. Here, I'll go this way. You're loading the band. How about we replay the camera angle? I'm sucking rocks at this camera angle stuff today. Good. Jacking up my flow. All right, there. That's better. So we basically take this, take the band. We're going to load the band in this position. So the band is loaded in that scarecrow position. I am shoulder width apart with my hands. All I'm gonna do is external, so elbows are high, okay? This is parallel to the ground. So starting position, band loaded. I'm gonna externally rotate the band, press straight up, come back to the head, internally rotate. Externally rotate, don't hit the rig, press straight up, come back down. You're gonna do this, three sets of 10. This, I keep being crap out of the rig. Spatial awareness today is a little off. That is gold. All right, next one we do, we're gonna grab pronated hang. So pronated, right, pull up grip, not chin up grip. We're gonna hang, but we're gonna go shoulder width apart. This is not shoulder width apart. I want them narrow, and I want you to be able to touch your feet on the ground so you can unload gently. And then you hang, feet are up, you hang like this for two minutes. When you're done, feet down, shake it out. Super easy stuff, right? Last one. Because we just do, actually just two more. I want one more for you guys. We're gonna take this, we're just gonna do a face fold. So it's at, if this is, again, head height, just above. Grab this, about one fist length apart, and you're just gonna pull straight to your nose. So I'll come this way, you can see what I'm doing. So you're pulling straight to your nose, Full, pro, full retraction or protraction, full retraction, full protraction, full retraction. Three sets of 10. Last one. I'm trying to rip through this as fast as possible. I need to get quicker than this shit. All right, this one, you take a knee, grab the inside of the band, make sure it's just under like minimally, like just minimally loaded, really slight tension. Grab it, all you're gonna do is externally rotate, but you're gonna force the shoulders down, so not normal, actually depress the scapula you hit that teres minor which anchors that it's going to basically force this joint centralization so externally rotate one two three four five come back to neutral without unloading same thing five seconds out and then come back without unloading the pen three sets of ten that's all you gotta do call it a day your shoulders are now pretty much bulletproof i'll talk to you tomorrow have an awesome day you know what it is it's smashworks